The committee that consists of seven members will be chaired by Bungoho South MP Michael Welihe. Other members are Stephen Tashobia of Kajara County, Freedom Tunchwing of Zombo, Julius Jujura, Hussein Chanjo, Cecilia Ogwal, and Sibalingana Mate. The terms of reference had a slight amendment to enable the committee to secure the mandate to obtain documents from foreign countries. Uh, it was alleged that money was transferred from Malta to Switzerland to Dubai to UK. So it was important that the committee be given a mandate to access these bank accounts. The committee will investigate bribery allegations in the oil sector and accusations against the three ministers. The investigations that will last three months will also examine the process of procurement of companies involved in the oil industry. Though some MPs were happy about the constitution of the committee, some had reservations. The speaker has done extremely well. Uh, as you are aware that because of parliament and because of what we did here, uh, the president has come out openly to discuss uh, these uh, oil issues. The country is now more knowledgeable than it was. Now we are investigating someone who is still the prime minister. For this committee to go to Dubai, it is Honorable Amama Babazi to sign for their transport, for their per diem. So now the person being investigated is the one feeding those who is to investigate that particular person. This also is a big loss. The investigation has nothing to do with the office of the prime minister or the functions I perform as prime minister. Let me tell you, up to now, I don't know what charge these people are going to investigate. MPs led by Remyaga MP Theodore Sechkubo are now mooting plans of forcing these ministers out of office. That next week we shall formally lodge our motion with the correct parliament seeking for prayers that will include his suspension from the House for violating the resolution of parliament. And I can tell you these artificial mobilizations they are making, they can't, you can't mobilize endlessly. It can be serving them today, but tomorrow we shall have them for lunch and dinner. Parliament has investigated a number of corruption scandals, but have ended up exonerating the culprits or quashing the reports. Now time will tell if this investigation will not fall short. Agnes Nandutu, NTV. Parliament.